All right. Just a little ritual hiding I have every morning. <laughs> uh, when we come out and start feeding up, she has to have her her bacon. Watch it. Howdy, howdy, look, here. Howdy, here. Howdy, look. <laughs> Yeah. Here. <laughs> One more time. One more. One more. Hiding. One more. Okay. Very gentle. One day she'll grab me by the nose. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What's up, boys? Shameless. Seamus, what's up, dude? Hey, hey Roman. Hey, Seamus. <laughs> All right. I gotta go do some work. We gotta go do some work. <laughs> I think it's saying Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm just sitting here on the porch, folks, not doing anything special. Uh, this is Christmas Eve. It's in the evening. And I'm just kind of sitting here in the front yard looking around. And uh, it's so nice and warm today. Y'all you know, bet it got up close to 80 at the peak of the day. It's probably in the 70s now. Yes, it is. It's like 75, 74 right now. Beautiful day. Not a cloud of sky, just a gentle breeze. This is unusual. Hey, Henry. Hey, Henry. That's my boy, Henry. Uh, it's, this is unusual weather. You know, most Christmases around here, it's not like a white snow and unlike ever, it would be cold. But it's not today here. And uh, so I'm just sitting here kind of relaxing. Just got through having Gigi do the cake. I thought I'd just come out and sit for a while. Prepare myself for the cleanup later. <laughs> All right, guys. That's my lawnmower. Daniel come to borrow it because he bought, he got Kim that little trailer for Christmas go behind her lawnmower and we got her a smoker to the back end of it. So Daniel's going to deliver it and see you so it doesn't go out tonight. So when she goes home tonight, she'll find that. <laughs> so anyway, he's taking it down to her right now. <laughs> Great. Hey, little girl. Where's your, where's your four wheeler? Where's your four wheeler? Ride it, ride it over and let Papa film you. She says her thumb hurts too bad right now. Okay. Her thumb's not used to it. <laughs> I'll get driving Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. Yeah, a little lamb. We're going to call it a little lamb, Sophie. <laughs> it's little Sophie. All right, folks. One of these days, I'm going to take y'all to my house. It ain't fancy. Our house is not fancy. My boys, Lester and Daniel, and I built this house. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud of what we accomplished. Hey, in fact, we accomplished in 20, 21 days. We moved in. Anyway, that'll be a video one day by itself. You like riding? Gonna ride or you walk? <laughs> yeah, she said, I'd rather ride, Popo. I'd rather ride. I'd rather ride. They were certain, guys. Uh, I enjoyed our uh, gifts and goodies this morning with Ivan and Sophie and some of the cats. Uh, it wasn't
wasn't near as bad as it was the other day we was doing it during that storm and uh you know it's so strange this weather and i was talking to a buddy a while ago buddy said papa have you ever seen like i'm mowing my yard in the day it's the what the 26th no 25th yeah 25th and i'm mowing my yard that's crazy Uh, look at that grass. Is it still green? Normally we've had a frost or two by now and everything would be brown. And uh, we'll let Rhonda move here one night. We've got a bunch of old firewood piled up. We'll come down, set our chairs up right here and sit there and tell a few lies. <laughs> Some of these guys. Yeah, uh, Rhonda moves fun. It's, it's all married men. Well, now and then Ellie comes and Benny will come sometimes. Everybody else is married, got wives, and they don't mind their wife, husbands coming off down here on, in the woods on the river. They ain't going to get in no trouble. <laughs> and sit around for a little while, sit we grill stuff. And sometimes we just sit there and relax and talk. Good guys. Usually four, five, six of us. And Heidi, Heidi gets to come. She's normally in charge. <laughs> I got some beautiful pictures today, but I want to thank y'all for those pictures. There are some pictures of Ivan, pictures of Sophie, pictures of Karen even. And uh and Heidi is just they're just beautiful stuff. And Gigi don't feel real well, so I haven't I took my box of stuff in for her to look at after a while. And, if she gets to feel it better, I'm sure she'll look through it and claim what's hers, like a cats and little bowls and stuff. And I'm going to have to go to another cat shelf. I can, I can see that coming. Kim got her a cat for Christmas also, so I can see another shelf's coming. <laughs> anyway, been doing a little mowing down here. Uh, the old lemon bushes, I've showed y'all those lemon bushes. They, they kind of sprout up now and then, and you don't get them. Uh, all right, we didn't get them all. I see one right here, I think. Now, the little ones like this right here. Well, you can't pull this. They have such a root system on them. You're not going to pull that little thing up. You can see the thorns on it. Those thorns are sharp. If you want to pull it up, you got to do it with you got to do it with the uh, gloves. But if you mow them sometimes that little, it'll kill them out. If you burn them, it'll, it'll kill them out. So we, we're not there. We just touch it up a little bit here and there. One lady was asking me about, in her letter, about my garden, my preparation of my garden. And, uh, yeah, I feed cows in there. In fact, Ivan and uh, Miracle in there right this minute. I'll, uh, Ivan will come out him and Sophie back to their little man cave in a few minutes. But I feed cows in there, rolls of hay, and uh, the seeding I gave them a, a some square hay out on the field. I had some of Went and fed them out there, but uh, I'll go in there about March, last of February. I'll start feeding outside of that little patch of uh, pen, and I'll go in there and burn all that old loose hay that will burn, and that will put some potash back in the soil, which is, is good fertilizer. It helps when I burn the hay, that all those ashes go back into the dirt, and the hay that's left. And there will be a lot that'll be, you know, wet underneath there. It'll, I'll plow it under and it'll rot down, decompose, whatever word you like to use. Rot, rot sounds good to me. <laughs> uh, it'll decompose over time and to put more fertilizer or make the ground more fertile. And, but anyway, then I'll plow it under for a while and I'll come back in there sometime in March and, uh, I'll till it, 
disc it and till it. Then I'll make some rows and, and depending on the weather, I'll plant as early as I can because around here, if, if you get a dry, dry spring or dry summer, if you don't harvest early, you're not going to get a harvest uh, without watering it. And then it just, I don't like to have to water a garden. You use so much water and it's kind of hard on your well and it just don't ever do as good as rainwater. It's just not equally spaced. Alright, I'm on my way back to the barn and uh, parsley out. We're still grazing. And, uh, I'll catch y'all a little bit. I love you guys. Alright folks, uh, Gigi and I are getting ready for our little Christmas Eve with the kids and she baked this little cake and I decorated it. Look at my writing. Happy birthday, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Well, my handwriting's not the best. Anyway, uh, I don't know what them eggs are about. <laughs> I'm not even gonna ask. Anyway, the punch will go here and uh, we've got it made. It's just in the refrigerator getting cold. Uh, Rob's going to bring a... Rob and Tina's going to bring a, a pecan pie, I think. And everybody's bringing something. Lou and them bring chips and dip and stuff. And, and we'll have a little gathering here for Christmas Eve. We'll do it early. Uh, because all the little children like to go back home for their own Christmases. And... Uh, and then only thing left after everybody leaves be the cleanup. <laughs> yeah, the cleanup. But uh, we look forward to it. But uh, again, you know, the reason for the the season, we know what that is, Jesus. But uh, it'll be fun. I think most everybody will be here. Some, other, some have other plans. And that's fine. Everybody has to do what they got to do. But this little table here, or island here, will be filled up with stuff when everybody else gets here. All right, I just want to show y'all that. She, mainly my cake. Gigi baked it and put the ice on it. I did their writing on it. I had to do my part on it. <laughs> I, I, I had to come back and make sure I, I spelled it right. All right, catch you guys later. All right. This is called Pigs in a Blanket. Take these little cans of biscuits. There's 10 in a can. And you flatten them out good. You take a little smoky and you roll it up. And you bake it. I do this every year. I'll do 40 of them. There they are. Like so. After about 20, he is tired. Roll them up tight. Put them in the oven, in that little pan there, then we'll bake them. The biscuits, the little biscuits will turn into biscuits. A little sausage will be heated up and cooked. Sausage and a biscuit. Forty of them. <laughs> Forty. I'm not. I'm not useless. <laughs> I can make pigs in a blanket. This is what I do my part I know you're tired of watching this take your little biscuits flatten them out yes I washed my hands get reminded you wash your hands yes I did 
Hey, Levi. I was silly. I thought you were silly. You were goofball. Why not? Ah, yes, you are. All right. Y'all see how I did that? I'm not going to do another can for you. You're going to get tired. Levi just came in the door. He brought some stuff. And, uh, See how I did it. Come on, little biscuit. I know you. I know there's a vider here somewhere. We'll figure out now in a minute. Some of them stick together. All right. It's gonna have a divider. I'm gonna make a divider. Aha. I get through that baby, it's gonna look just like the rest of it. What'd I say? Same way with this. Mash it flat. Mash it flat. All right. Y'all see how I did it? Well, the feed, the food is starting to show up. <laughs> Some cheese dip over there. Strawberry shortcakes there. Con pie here. My little pigs in a blanket are in there. And I've got the rest of them ready to go. All right, we're going to make it here. Well, they're going fast. They're going fast. They are good. We left the two rivers. I told you nothing because I couldn't trust you. <laughs> but now I know you and I... It's TV time, right? Let me right? speak clearly. If we turn... Roman over here. If we do not stop the dark right now here. while he is still weak, the whole world My will is warm. turn for darkness. Armies of Trollocs and Fades a million strong will wash across the land, think, killing and eating every person they find. <laughs> what they did to your village is nothing compared oh. to what they would do. Crazy cats. The earth itself will burn.